Last year, I released one of my most popular videos and that was talking about this light for small spaces such as offices or maybe a streamer setup or something like that, but they wanted a softbox lighting solution and a light to go with that that was powerful enough to be able to um, light up that space. But again, allowing a softbox to be attached to it to really soften the light and look, I would say, more professional and better on stream or at least on some type of video cameras or webcam and they didn't want to go with these little streamer lights or whatever from Elgato and other companies as well have made their similar products like these are actually from Godox. They, I've talked about it multiple times on the channel. I think they're better than the actual Elgato key lights. I'll leave them linked down below. But with these lights, they don't have to hook up to no internet or anything. Again, a physical module to be able to control the light. The problem with these types of lights is that even though they have a diffusion layer on it, they don't soften the light and actually make the light look really, really good on camera. That's why I always recommend these lights known as cob lights or on uh, chip on board lights or wherever you can see the yellow chips right here. These are going to be way better for your video needs, regardless if you're a streamer, content creator, or anything like that, you're gonna want these types of lights. The problem and the reason why I am saying that in this video is that apparently this light from Newer is no longer available on Amazon. It hasn't been for a while. I kept looking at it because I kept getting comments and people asking me about it. And I think it's time for me to go ahead and recommend another light which I am going to purchase admittedly and, and do a review on separately, but I will leave a video down in the description where somebody actually has the capability and the tools to actually, I would say, fact check what the manufacturer is saying about the light as far as color accuracy and everything like that. Um, I do not have those kind of tools, so I just go based off of what I feel like and what I obviously like tested and visually seen and stuff like that. So again, if you're looking for a more, I would say grounded in fact or wherever test, again, it'll be linked in the video description as well as to the product that I'm going to recommend. It's an 80 watt light, so it's going to be brighter than this, but it's still going to have a small form factor. It's still going to be under $100 because it's usually around $80 to $89 on Amazon. So you're getting all the benefits of a really good small light and still being able to attach a softbox. Now, what is a softbox? A softbox is something like this that you see over here that I have recommended from Sellins. These kind of softboxes are going to be the best ones for you as a content creator or a streamer who is working in a small space because for one you're not filling with tabs or anything like that they're trying to open up any of these other soft boxes from other companies because some people in small spaces like to tear down things or wherever to conserve space so if you're having to tear down these soft boxes and stuff it's best to get a soft box lighting solution that's going to be better for you and your use case scenario and having those older type of soft boxes are not good what you're going to want to look for is what's known as a umbrella style octagon or just an umbrella style softbox. You can find them. Again, I'll leave links in the description to these little softboxes. They open up like an umbrella from the inside as well as collapse from the inside as like an umbrella. So it's just way easier setting up. This is a small one. This is the one I recommended for this light right here and small spaces. I'll put the actual item description or wherever on screen so you can see how big it is. But I'm telling you, it doesn't really take up any much screen or wherever I've had it sit up where that light back there is and had perfectly fine um, experience wherever with it. The reason why I moved it or wherever is because I am possibly going to get that light that I recommended in the future and um, I needed a light solution over here so that's why it's over here because I don't have another small softbox. But what I do have is this ginormous one. These are huge. These are soft boxes that I would say um, nine times out of ten people think of when they look at lighting solutions that content creators use. Even for this space, this is just way too big. I don't think anybody probably should use something like this. And at this point or wherever, if I was like in a living room or maybe at a client shoot or something like that, obviously a bigger space, even this would be considered small in that area, but this is more of a medium sized soft box. I'll leave what this is or wherever, if this might suit you, but this is going to be definitely too big. I think for 99% of the people who are watching this video, um, this would be good if you have a very pole or maybe you have a way to put this in a corner of a room and just shine it or wherever and you're never moving it and it can fit this will probably be really good but again we're looking for smaller lighting solutions so what do i recommend since that one is uh no longer available 
Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that, you know, admittedly, like I said before, that light from newer, which is right here, wherever it's a 60 watt light and uh, it does come with the remote. But like I said, sadly, it's just not available anymore. So what do I recommend? Well, as you can see, this lighting solution, wherever, is still fine. I think this soft box with the light that I mentioned earlier, I can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head, but again, it'll be linked in the description. It's going to be a really good alternative or wherever. And even when the video that I released, I would say last year or wherever, it still had its faults or wherever with that newer light. There were certain things that you had to do to get it uh, to work correctly or wherever, especially in that small space. And there's a tool that I think that you're gonna want to buy separately I'll leave it linked in the description. It's known as a light stand, a desk clamp or wherever. That's kind of like the thing that you have to look up on Amazon. Um, some companies are starting to release their own versions of these and they're charging an absorbent amount or wherever. So make sure that you're clicking the link in the description and using the ones that I use personally, because for one, they're going to be cheaper or wherever. Yes, but they're still going to be pretty much the same. And you can get a pack like a two of them for like 30 bucks. With that out the way, the light that we're talking about today can take advantage of that desk clamp and even the lights that I was talking about in last year's video can take advantage of those clamps. But what you want to understand is that even in this shot, I am perfectly exposed to wherever as far as what my camera is telling me. But you can see from this side that <clears throat> I have shadows, that it's not you no know, evenly spread. Even though this light source or wherever is soft, it's coming on me or wherever, it's not harsh or wherever, I am having a little bit of hot spots you can see, but overall, it's a really good light or wherever, and we're in a good position here. The problem is, is that, again, this sh these shadows for top-down shots are not going to be looking very, very good, and this is what I want to solve. As you can see, we have lighting over here or wherever, well, what about this side of the desk? Well, that's where this comes in. This is from Milanzi. It's a 40 watt light. I'll leave it linked in the description. Um, you can get it bundled and, um, and get it a little bit cheaper or wherever if you get the softbox dome or wherever to come with it. There are other companies that sell 60 watt lights or wherever, but usually those are closer to 200 and over 200. There is a bundle from Small Rig that recently just dropped the 60 watt light or wherever. Um, that has a softbox lighting solution that allows you to take USB type C. And that's the kind of light that I would recommend if you are going to be doing some kind of traveling or something like that. And you want a light to go with you. Maybe you're doing stuff with uh, cameras or something like that. And you have power banks and all that stuff or wherever, and you don't mind breaking down the softbox and breaking down the light and taking it with you in your camera bag. That's the kind of on the go content creator, uh, I would say type of light I would recommend. But the reason why I'm recommending this light for you guys is because if I think if you're just going to sit there because it doesn't have a USB type C, it's only 40 watts. <clears throat> it's going to be bright enough in some scenarios. I'll tell, talk about some caveats or wherever and why you might want to bump up to Yulonzi's 60 watt version. Um, but it has some caveats. Like I said, it has an internal battery. So does their 60 watt one. Um, the 60 watt one comes with the pay, uh, ability to have a actual wall outlet and a USB type C or wherever. So your connection can vary there, but they both pretty much have the same, uh, I would say specs or same similarities or wherever other than that. Um, so this one's just gonna plug into the wall. There is a way to get an adapter to get some kind of device or wherever to use as Sony MPF batteries or wherever I've seen that. Um, but most people who this video is gonna be targeted towards is not gonna have that kind of adapter. So you're just gonna have a wall outlet or wherever and you're gonna plug it in. 40 watts or wherever, it's pretty bright. I've already tried you know, shooting videos and stuff like that, seeing what they can do on the desk or wherever. It comes with pretty much what you see here other than the wall outlet. Um, you have the dome, you have the, uh, the dome for the actual reflector, you have the actual light itself. It's plenty bright, um, it turns on pretty good. When you have it in the battery, you're going to need to turn the knob or wherever to turn it on. Um, and then to turn it off, obviously you just flick the switch or wherever. So this is going to be bright enough, I would say, if you're having it at an angle and you're angling it towards you or wherever for streaming and stuff, it's going to be really good. Obviously the small form factor, um, and you've seen it before, it does come with the option of having a mini Bowen's mouth softbox light. Um, throughout the video, I will, uh, to a little bit later, I will have you know a comparison showing you guys between the dome and the actual softbox. Um, but again, this is going to be good. I would say double layer diffusion uh, softbox and everything. It's just, 
let's get into some cons, okay? Hey, Future Squid here. Um, I forgot to mention that um, I purchased this with my own money, by the way. Um, I reached out to Elonzi to work with them in the past or wherever, as well as small rig and stuff like that, trying to get my hands on these types of lights and uh, never got a response. So, <sighs> feelings are hurt. But you know, tentacles still reach out and grab. So yeah, just wanted to give that little thing. I can't believe I forgot to say that. There was no disclaimer in the beginning of the video, so you all should already knew that, but it, it is what it is. Some people still, you know, whatever. First off, the light that I recommended before with newer, like I said, it comes with a remote. Newer lights and other company lights or wherever, also their newer brands of, of, of lights or wherever that are coming out with also not only has a remote, but has apps. Me, admittedly, in my room, in my studio, I have smart lights. So all these RGB lights that you see or wherever, at a touch of a button on my phone, all of them come on, all of them turn off. When it comes to these, you know, these key lights or wherever that I have, they turn on or wherever with the remote. Even the Elgato key lights back there, or Elgato-esque key lights back there from Godox, those little panel lights or wherever, they turn on and because they're grouped together on the physical uh, module or wherever that you can pop off the back and they turn off and turn on from a touch of a button. This light, you have to go in the back and flick a switch. So it's going to be some kind of cumbersome wherever, depending on what your setup is, depending on what your needs are, if you don't mind reaching behind something and turn it on. Because in my personal opinion, nine times out of 10, depending on the next con is that you're going to need um, possibly two of these. The reason why I say that is not because it's 40 watts or wherever. If I think 40 watts for what this is, depending on your setup or wherever, if you have the light kind of close to you and kind of close to what your what's taking your uh, video signal, um, it's going to be bright enough, you know what I'm saying? You might have to turn it up a little bit more than you would like, but it's going to be plenty bright enough. The problem is, is that if you're using something like a camera and you didn't get a lens, like I'm using the 16 millimeter lens from, uh, from Sigma right now, if you just have a kit lens or wherever and you have an older, I would say camera, these kit lenses or wherever, their f-stops, especially this one from Sony, only goes down to uh, 3.5 at the lowest. The cinema goes all the way down to 1.4. So what does that mean? It allows more light into the lens, meaning your image is going to be brighter in layman's terms. Um, the problem, like I said, your image is not gonna get as bright as it would with the Sigma lens if you're using a, a actual kit lens. So again, you might have to, in order to correctly expose your image, you're gonna have to turn that brightness. So that's one con right there. Another con is that most people, when they have you know these cameras or webcams or wherever, and they're looking for these lighting solutions, especially these cheaper alternatives in smaller, uh, I would say, spaces and stuff, nine times I tend to have some kind of webcam. The problem is that you're gonna need a webcam like the Elgato face cam, the 1080p 60 frames per second, or something like what I was recording with earlier, the Onsbot or wherever. You're gonna need these kind of webcams because these kind of webcams actually have um, software on your PC that allows you to control stuff like ISO, color temperature, and um, being able to lower, um, I would say that shutter speed and stuff like that. What that's going to do is going to allow more light and more control over the webcam to really take a, advantage of this light being a lower wattage and being a smaller light. And that's why I said you might want to upgrade to the 60 watt version or wherever. The same thing though, um, you're going to have to control the light from the back and then put it up wherever you're going to put it and then take it down, control it, and then you know put it back because these lights just don't come with remote. I don't know why I kind of wish they did or at least some kind of app or something like that but sadly they don't and from what I understand I think the small rig one also doesn't have a remote or something like that but it does have the capability of having the, the controls on the side instead of on the back of like the Yulanzi lights so that's something you want to be aware of so again you're going to want to have something that a lot, in a lot more light wherever than your kit lens depending on your camera um, especially if you have one of those older cameras like the Sony uh, Alpha 6100 series and stuff like that. The Sony ZV-10 is a little bit better with the kit lens and the color science and everything like that because it's a newer camera. But these older cameras from my testing or whatever, especially with the Alpha 6100 and the kit lens, I've made a video. I'll leave it linked in the description. Um, these uh, 
these kit lens or whatever on these older cameras, they just, they, the older cameras show their age with that. I will leave a 4K 30 webcam that's from Onsbot or wherever. I don't really recommend this one, even though everybody has it, but still wouldn't recommend it um, because there is a Onsbot 4K 30, $150 wherever that I found on Amazon that's been sitting there. Um, and I think this is like 120 brand new or something like that, 110 or something. So obviously upgrade to that 4K 30 and uh, use the Onsbot one or wherever. It's really, really good. It has that tracking. It's not full gimbal like like this one, but it has the tracking and stuff. So it's gonna look better. It's gonna be better for 150 bucks. It's gonna be better than your C920. Save up, get it, you know, and then purchase, you know, something like this. Like I said, the cons, it's just like, it doesn't even come with a ball head to go on the, I would say the mount adapter, wherever. So you're gonna have to get yourself a cheap little ball head or wherever to mount it to the, the thread on the back, just to angle the light down. Because if you don't, it's just gonna be sitting there looking straight. Um, I wish that was kind of bundled in the box with like the light and everything like that. And also at this price point for what this whole thing is, I would say they, Yulanzi and Small Rig and all these companies that are coming out with this stuff, trying to, you know, charge over a hundred dollars. And like I said, even more companies who are bigger in this space for lighting stuff and known for small lights, they're charging 200 and up for this type of stuff. And nine times out of 10, these are small, you know, mini bones mount lights that don't even have soft boxes attached that you have to get separate and some of them are even only doing proprietary connections and in order to get out of their proprietary connection ecosystem they sell their own adapter for their own connectors so it's like they're nickel and diming you just to get out of the ecosystem wherever just to make it access accessible to everybody it's like no you use our brand or not again you get these this kind of bad style of softbox in my personal opinion, but for what we're using it for and what I'm gonna be using it for, I'm never gonna tear down the softbox. There's just no point. It's soft, it does what it needs to do, wherever it's enough for my uh, use case scenario. And um, you know, there's no, other than that, there's no really no gripes. I would say putting it together though, there are going to be some gaps between, I would say, this area and the actual outside of the softbox dome. That's just something I noticed. It seemed like this part or wherever was a little bit smaller than the outside. Um, it does come with the grid, and what the grid does is just how, uh, I would say, direct that light or wherever that's coming out of it to be more um, kind of like spotlight-ish or wherever and not bleed around into your space. But for what I need and what most people are going to want from a 40-watt uh, light, there are going to be use cases where this grid is gonna come in handy. And like I said, it comes in there. So, you know, test it out, see what you want. But for me, having the bleed on the table or wherever and the bleed on my face, that's what I'm going to want. So that's the way I'm going to use it. So the grid is not necessary to me, but like I said, with the selling soft boxes, even these bigger ones or whatever that cost a little bit more, these are uh, gridless. You're gonna have to buy them separately. So that's just something to keep in mind. But you know, these selling soft boxes are light and lighter probably than the other soft boxes in comparison to ones that are made like this. But in my personal opinion, the just the mechanisms tearing them down and stuff like that everything still stands i would say from that video that i released last year smaller lights like from newer and just being able to be a bone's mouth so you can use the soft box with any light really that you find out there but again if you're looking for a small light just know that these are mini bones mount lights you're going to have to get a mini bones mount uh modifier or because if you're thinking about getting a bigger, maybe a bigger dome or wherever and trying to put it on it, it's not going to work. Lastly, any concerns about heating or wherever, because I, I think I forgot to mention that when I covered the newer light, um, overheating or anything like that, the heat dissipation is really, really good on this light, at least for my couple days of having it. Um, I've had it on for like three, four hours at one point, and it wasn't warm or hot or wherever to the touch. And I had it around like 30% or something like that hooked up continuously to the wall. Fans, very, very silent or wherever, couldn't even really hear them at all. I would have to boost the audio wherever, hurt your ears or wherever, just to hear the fans, at least in my experience. So uh, there's no reason for that, in my personal opinion. Uh, the only thing that I notice is that the connection piece between this light or wherever and the actual light modifier, probably around this area right here, is uh, warm to the touch on the soft box or wherever. It's not something that I'm like, ooh, ow, you know, I can't barely touch it or tap touch it. I can still touch it and adjust the modifier and, you know, the reflector where it gets a little warm, 
but it's not like, oh my God, you know, I'm burning my hand type of stuff. So, and that's after again, like three to four hours. That's just my overall thoughts of this product or wherever. I do recommend it. Like I said, it does have some, it does have some cons. You're like I said, not having at least a cheap little thing or wherever to put it in. I think something even like this came with like a cheap ring light or wherever from Walmart for like 10 bucks. You're telling me that you can put something like this in here or wherever. I, it's just, it's weird. And then on top of that, like I said, if you are struggling with having a cheaper, older, like C920 uh, camera, or maybe you've got, you know, a cheap webcam uh, replacement for like a camera or something like that, maybe off of Facebook marketplace or something or a hand-me-down, and you have one of these lenses that can't really go down in f-stop these lights or wherever the 40 watt light i wouldn't recommend it i would go ahead and move up to the 60 watt light from lunanzi which again i'll leave linked in the description i'm actually happy with this purchase from lunanzi or wherever it, there is some cons like i said there is some caveats um there is like little modes and stuff that you can use on the light and everything that a filmmaker or somebody who's making like a documentary or something like that can use uh, the small form factor sitting in a bag and stuff like that is really really good just I kind of wish that it had a remote. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't fully 100% recommend it, but you know your use case scenario better than anyone. That's why, you know, I still like it and I still would recommend it, um, but probably more so that 60 watt light, uh, if we're just gonna be completely honest. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid has a day. God bless you and yours. Thank you guys so much for the support on that original video that talked about lights for small spaces. Again, there is a light from another company out there, that 8 watt light that I probably would recommend more so. But again, small spaces, small lights, let's talk about them. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, then you already know what to do because it helps out the channel and it lets you to see more videos from me. And if you're interested in any of my social media, they're on screen. They've been there the whole time. At least I hope so. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.